In this lecture, we will give the basic idea of panel regression. In the panel regression, we basically use both the cross section as well as time series data. So, for each of the entries, we have both cross section as well as time series aspect. And we will discuss how do we incorporate the observation and explain the model and why actually we need panel regression. And we will also consider the fixed effect model of such panel regression. In this session, we, I will basically teach regression with panel data and the content of this lecture has been taken from James Stock and Watson's Introduction to Econometric Chapter 10 regression with, regression with panel data. Now, panel data basically uh, what we do, I will give the concept of panel data, panel data with um, two periods, fixed effect model, model estimation and regression with time fixed effect, fixed effect assumption and at least some application. Now, panel data set contains observation in multiple entries individual where each entry is observed at two or more points in time. Example, suppose you have a California school district item in 1999 and uh, 2000 for 84 observation in total, data on 50 base states, each state is observed in 3 years for a total of 150 observation. So, altogether you have data on 1000 individual in 4 different month, months for 4000 observation in total. So, uh, this uh, we have ent entities, states and time period years. I is the entity that is state, n is the number of entities, so I running from 1 to n. T is the time period, capital T is the number of time periods, so that small d runs from 1 to t. Data, suppose you have one regression, so data are x i y i t, x i t y i t, i running from 1 to n and t running from 1 to t. So, n is the number of entries uh, states, t is the number of time period years. So, another example, uh, another term for panel data is longitudinal data and uh, here we are considering balanced panel, so no missing observation. On the other hand, you can also consider the unbalanced panel where some entry states are not observed for some of the periods and years. So, why are panel data are useful? With panel data, we can control for each of the factors that vary across entries that is state but do not vary over time. So, there are some effects which vary across states but which are not varying over time. On the other hand, uh, you could also cause omitted variable bias if they are omitted and also uh, unobserved or unmeasured and uh, therefore, you cannot include it in the regression using multiple regression. So, you can handle the case of uh, omitted variable and also you can handle the case of observed or unobserved, observed, unobserved or unmeasured variable and therefore, you cannot capture uh, in the regression for the multiple case. So, the key idea that if an omitted variable does not change over time, then any changes in y over time cannot be caused by omitted variable. Now, some example of panel data set, suppose you are considering debt, traffic debt and alcohol taxes. So, observational unit a year in a US state, suppose you have 48 US states and n is the number of entries, so uh, 48. 7, suppose we have a data for 1980 to 1988, so you have altogether 7 years of observation. T is the number of time period, so time period is 7. So, here you are considering the case of a balanced panel. So, total number of observation 7 into 48, so it will around 336. Traffic uh, fatality rate and, uh, is the number of traffic death in that state in that year, that is suppose 10,000 state resident. Now, tax on a uh, tax on a beer, uh, 
So, suppose the, the government imposes tax on the beer and suppose uh, the other factors are legal driving age, drunk driving laws, etc. Now, the plots of the traffic fatality rate and the beer tax like this. So, you find that higher the alcoholic taxes, more is the traffic death. So, can we conclude this? So, you can visualize two pictures, one for 1982 and other for 1988. So, what might be, you can cause the following question, why might there be more traffic death in states that have higher alcohol taxes? Other factors that can determine traffic fatality rate are quality uh, that is age of the automobiles, quality of the road, culture around drinking and driving, density of cars on the road and these are uh, the factors that you can incorporate in the regression analysis and apart from that there are omitted factors which could cause omitted variable bias. Now, another example is traffic density. Suppose high traffic density means more traffic death. And secondly, western states with lower traffic density have lower alcoholic taxes. The two conditional, uh, the, then the two conditions for omitted variable bias are uh, satisfied. Specifically, high taxes could reflect high traffic density so that OLS coefficient would be biased. Positively high taxes implies high death. Panel data let us um, eliminate omitted variable bias when the omitted variable are constant over time with a given state. Now take another example cultural attitude towards drinking and driving. Arguably and, uh, and there are determinant of traffic death and potentially are correlated with the beer tax. So, beer taxes would be picking cultural differences omitted variable bias. Then two condition for omitted variable bias are satisfied specifically high taxes could reflect cultural attitude towards drinking. So, OLS coefficient would be bias. Panel data let us eliminate omitted variable bias when the omitted variable are constant over time with a given state. Now, panel data with two time period. Consider panel data model that is fatality rate is a function of beer taxes and ZI and suppose that ZI is not observed. So, it is omission called resultant result is omitted variable bias. The effect of ZI can be eliminated using t equal to 2 years. The key idea, the key idea is that uh, the any change in the fatality rate from 1982 to 1988 cannot be accused by ZT because ZI by assumption does not change between 1982 to 1988. Now consider the fatality rate in 1988 and 1982. Fatality rate is a function of beer taxes ZI and EY 1988. Similarly, fatality rate in 1982 is a function of beer taxes in 1982. ZI and error term in 1982. Now, suppose the disturbance term, the condition expectation of the disturbance term conditional on beer taxes and stay ZI is 0. Now, subtracting 1982 uh, to from 1988 that is calculating the change eliminates the effect of a change in ZI. So, if we take differences fatal rate in 1988 minus fatal rate in 1982 uh, as a function of beer taxes in 1988 minus beer tax in 1982 plus the changes in disturbance term. So, new error term is uncorrelated with either beer taxes or uh, beer taxes in 1988 or beer taxes in 1982. These differences equation can be estimated by OLS even though ZI is not observed. The omitted variable ZI does not change, so it cannot be a determinant of the change in Y. So, if you do so, then you can estimate 1982 data and similarly 1988 data as the fatal rate as a function of beer taxes in each of these years and uh, you can form the difference regression and then 
um, you can estimate the parameters of the regression and also you can see um, the plots of the facility rate, the, dif the plots of the difference in the facility rate after having the regression, you can find that there is a declining uh, rate uh, or declining relationship between the ch change in uh, fertility rate and change in beer taxes. So, uh, what if we have more than two periods, till now we have considered uh, two periods and what if you have more than two periods, three greater than two. Uh, now, we can rewrite the equation in two useful way, uh, n1 binary regression and fixed effect regression. We first rewrite fixed effect, suppose you have 10 uh, n equal to 3 states, California, Texas and Massachusetts and for each of these states you have uh, observation running from t cap, uh, small t running from 1 to capital T. Now, uh, population regression for the Californian state uh, can be done and uh, similarly, similarly for Texas you can have the regression and uh, also for similarly uh, you can get the binary regression form where uh, uh, you can introduce a dummy. Um, that is DCA equal to 1 if state uh, is California and uh, 0 otherwise. Similarly, D Texas equal to 1 if the text if the state is Texas and 0 otherwise. Uh, so, uh, you you have uh, two dummies one for the California state another for the um, Texas state and you have to uh, leave out uh, the, uh, the, the dummy variable for uh, Massachusetts in order to have a concentrated regression that is in order to have a dummy variable trap. So, here you can have uh, the fixed effect uh, form where alpha i is called the state specific effect or state effect, it is a constant fixed effect being state in i. So, come to the fixed effect regression estimation. Uh, so, and you can here you can um, consider three forms n1 binary regression, wellness regression, entity demanded uh, wellness regression, chain specific regression uh, only for t equal to 2. These three methods can produce identical estimate of the regression coefficient that is identical standard error. We already did the chain specification 1988 minus 1982 but this only works for 2 years. Now, method 1 and method 2 work for in general number of t. Method 1 is applied and can be practicable uh, when n is not too large. So, in the fixed effect model you can have the state specific effect that is the effect um, um, for the state you can calculate. So, from that you can have the state specific average uh, average value um, and uh, from that you can uh, have the state deviation from the state specific average uh, and then you can all the um, all the observations can be handled um, for this variable. So, here idea is to first con construct this variable uh, and uh, from this and then estimate regression uh, of this variable of y tilde to uh, x i tilde by OLS and then uh, have inference test of hypothesis confidence interval in usu as usual uh, using heteroskedasticity or robust standard error and this is like the changes, but instead y i t is deviated from the average value of y i t. That is in, in each of the case you take uh, first you have state specific average and then have the deviation from the state specific average. Now, um, then obtain the model in deviation form and then apply OLS to the deviation to this uh, deviated to the model in deviation form and do the all uh, test of hypothesis confidence interval etcetera 
and this is like any changes, um, this is like the changes, but instead yi is deviated from the uh, state average instead of yij. And oh, any standard package you can use, for example, you can use theta to have the uh, have this effect. Now, similarly, you can have a time specific effect, an omitted variable may vary over time, but not across state. Uh, so far as cause changes in national laws, uh, these produce the intercept term that can change over time. So, let these changes uh, be denoted by st which changes over time, but not with state. And so, you can have the population regression model allowing for uh, this time specific effect. And similarly, you can have um, the regression both for 1982, 1983, etc. Uh, and similarly, you can have the binary regression and here you can introduce time dummy, the time dummy is equal to 1, um, time dummy value is equal to 1 if t corresponds to 1 and 0 otherwise like that. And uh, as a result, you can have time effect. Uh, and similarly, uh, the binary regression having the time uh, dummy uh, corresponding time dummy and uh, you can uh, have the OLS regression and similarly, state and time effect formulation can be allow, uh, can be applied together that is you can have the composite model of having state specific dummy and time specific dummy and hence you can do the OLS regression and if you combine these two me method, then you get the fixed effect model and a fixed in the fixed effect regression assumption for a single x, yit is, is a function of xit and a xit i running from 1 to n draws from joint distribution, xi ugt as final. Um, assumptions like that and there is no uh, case of perfect multiconality and assumption 3 and 4 is identical for 1 to for every year. And then you get the fixed effect model and uh, fixed in the fixed effect regression assumption for a single x yit is, is a function of xit and uh, xit i running from 1 to n draws from joint distribution xi ugt as final um, assumptions like that and there is no uh, case of perfect multiconality and assumption 3 and 4 is identical for 1 to for every year. In the last class I have discussed about the fixed effect model. In this class I have I will discuss what are the assumptions behind the fixed effect model. I will specify different assumptions. Then I will find out the uh, estimator for the fixed effect model, find out the variance of the estimator and then I will give some examples of these fixed effect models.